There's no doubt who the star of Woodland Park Zoo is these days. As soon as the zoo opens, fans rush to the gorilla exhibit to watch the new baby, Kotoko. Just like his mom, Azuma, he has no fear of heights. Zoo babies get all the press. And you probably think this is yet another story about how adorable they are. But this isn't a story about young animals. Quite the opposite. I've been working with the gorillas since 1984. On this morning, keeper Judy Siebert is concerned about a gorilla in the exhibit next door. The baby's grandfather, Vip. Vip stands for Very Important Primate. He came to us in 96, I think. He was like um, a young male, just like 17 years old. We had two females to put with him. He was a wonderful guy. He ended up having seven daughters at our zoo. At 41, Vip is a codger among great apes, already several years older than male western gorillas in the wild. That makes him part of a fast-growing demographic at zoos, senior citizens. Elk, orangutans, penguins, and bunnies at Woodland Park Zoo are some of the oldest examples of their species. Because they're living longer than their, than their wild counterparts, uh, we're starting to see many different uh, ailments, diseases that orangs in the wild and, and all animals in the wild simply don't see because they don't live that long. One reason for the longevity? She does get a daily pain medication. The zoos discovered that medicines developed for humans in their golden years help animals in theirs. Vip has arthritis. The keepers make him comfortable with the same anti-inflammatories that you or your Aunt Mary might take. Sometimes what I'll hear about is an innovative approach to an animal patient or even a human patient. And I'll, I'll try that here. The director of animal health at the zoo is also on the lookout for hands-on help for his patients. One example, Vip gets laser treatment on his aching joints. What do you think about that, Kaylee? Do you like them? <laughs> but first the zoo tried the laser on an animal that weighs fewer than 450 pounds. At 31, Mr. C is one of the world's oldest penguins. He's as feisty as ever, maybe even feistier. I always say Mr. C is kind of our cranky old man. Um, he loves to sit on his porch and make sure no one else uh, stands there with him. This will make him less cranky. For five years, every week, a physical therapist has been giving Mr. C laser light treatment. The laser will warm up and penetrate the skin surface into the lower layer, muscle, nerves, vascular area. So the probe actually focuses on the points where he has arthritis along his spine, his hips, his knees, and his feet. The therapist massages Mr. C too. This tough old bird is not too keen on that. But once he's off the table? It's like a brand new Mr. C. How about ancient remedies for modern animals? Woodland Park Zoo was one of the first American zoos with a vet tech certified to do this. Teeny needles are placed in specific points of this bunny's body. And the rabbit is not complaining. The, the orangutan that's right behind my shoulder here is uh, Melati, and she's our 48-year-old orangutan. Sometimes what a veteran of the zoo needs is improved safety in the exhibit space, also known as their home. You'll notice we have a lot of vines in there and they use the vines to climb onto their, their beds, if you will, uh, to move around the exhibit easily. But we've also added a couple of extra vines to make the, the space more ADA compliant. There are instances when nothing short of surgery can save a beloved animal. That was the case with Vip. He needed emergency hernia surgery. With the huge and helpless gorilla sedated, a breathing tube down his throat, the head of the UW Hernia Center performed the successful surgery. We often have human doctors come and help us if we have a problem with one of the gorillas. They, we have dentists and um, heart specialists and, and so forth because they're so closely related to us. As zoos get better at treating diseases that its residents would have died from in the past, they venture into uncharted ethical waters. 
We did an extensive exam on Amanda a few months ago. We brought in an eye specialist who pretty much used the same instruments that they would use to evaluate human eyes. At 50, Amanda was the oldest animal at the zoo. An exam found that she was blind in both eyes and there was nothing doctors could do. For her safety, Amanda had to live separately from her gorilla family. You know, we like to say that we care for these animals from cradle to grave. And part of that responsibility means knowing when to let them go. And sometimes we just look at the animal and they tell us they're done. But by the time we had to decide to euthanize, she had, um, wasn't feeling very well at all. And so we knew it was the time to not have her suffer any longer and be able to be euthanized humanely. For a keeper who's taken care of Amanda from the birth of her daughters to old age, saying goodbye was a very sad day. Then almost immediately, Siebert was reminded that Amanda's legacy continues. Then it was just um, a short while later when we had little Toko and we could think about there's her grandson. Watch CityStream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.